Okay, we're going to graph a linear equation in slope-intercept form. Many ways we can approach that, but if we remember what slope-intercept form tells us is anything that's in this form has a slope, that's the coefficient of x, and the y-intercept is what's added at the end. So in this case, my slope is going to be 2, and my y-intercept is going to be 3 start the process of graphing by graphing the y-intercept. By definition, the y-intercept is where the equation crosses the y-axis. We know that's at 3, so I graph the point 0, 3, crosses the y-axis at 3. A slope of 2 means that I have a rise over run of 2 over 1. In other words, every time our graph goes up to goes over 1. So I can use that to follow. On my graph, to get to the next point, I'm going to go up to and over 1. And again, I can go up to over 1. Now, I don't have too many points I can do that way, but of course it's going to extend in the opposite direction. Up 2 over 1 is equivalent to down 2, back 1. Down 2, back 1 down to back one. So I can see this pattern follows all the way through and that is going to be the graph of my linear equation. Once I have my points I can just connect them. It's going to continue on like this forever which I signify by drawing these arrows and that's how I can graph a linear equation like this if I have it in slope intercept form. It's easy to just read the y-intercept read the slope, and use them to help me construct the graph. Thank you.